Welcome back everybody. Live from Falcon aka Gruntmeister back with another mission with the Sluggers. We're going to go into Flushing Potty. Yes, that's actually what it's called. So strap in and we'll go ahead and get this briefing started. Okay, we've got a, a little situation that's developed on the potty. That is the name of the town. Now, unfortunately, we've got a renegade faction that have tried to take over. They've stolen some destroyers. They're not finished yet, so they're not weapons ready. But there's a small inlet in the town of Potty and they've parked them there. Now, they've got very limited air-to-air -air capability technology-wise. They've got AAA by the hundreds and man pads. Now, the sneaky little buggers have gone and stuck these, as far as we can tell, on the tops of tall buildings. Now, believing that we will engage these, they've kept the civilians in the buildings. So, obviously we can't flatten the buildings when we drop bombs on them. Any questions so far? Uh, you said we can or cannot drop bombs on uh, I said we cannot drop the buildings. We can drop small weapons on them. Why not? We're sluggers. We just blow everything up. What's the largest bomb that we can drop on them? I'll get to that in a second. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. Question. Uh, reading the weapons loadouts, there's obviously GBUs. Uh, GBUs can only be fused for tail instant uh, blowing up, so... Uh, we're going to take at least the top story out of the building that we have. Well, we've done some testing on some nearby structures that we emptied first, with the help of Goblin, and we dropped UBU-12s, and from the reports, um, everything was okay. The building did not collapse, and it was not showing any significant structural damage. What's the possibility of doing gun runs on those? Uh, suicidal if you try. So CBU canisters are going to be a safer bet? Uh, yes, but we've got to minimize the destructive element of the town. We Obviously, we're working under United Nations operations here, so it is directable or, or pinpoint drop. So if you're not competent or capable, or don't feel you're going to do it with a Mark 82, then you can stick uh, GBUs, small GBUs on there, Mavericks, LGBs, as long as they're on as guided. Now, those in the F-18s, it would be advisable to pair up with somebody in a Harrier so that you can buddy lays on multiple different codes. Right, everybody got the, the mission briefing open? Yep. 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 If, um... Negative. There's always one. Right. Now I'm we have sorry, a tanker in the air. I'm trying don't to worry about it. it. We'll get we'll get you shot down. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're not that far from Katazi anyway. Exactly. We do have friendly air sites still surrounding the area, so we can land and refuel and rearm at these markers which have been put on the map. Now there's obviously still two hostile airfields there. Now we believe they have got low tech weaponry. MiG-21s possibly, um, we know they've got some helicopters, we're not sure what, uh, we're not sure what sort of armor they've managed to get their hands on. So it's a case of we're going to have to wait and see. Now we do have some resistance in the area and they have arranged that if it's possible they're going to mark any columns that they see if they come past them. So if you find a road and suddenly there's a marker on it, smoke, then there's a good chance that somewhere on that road, hopefully heading towards the town, we're going to find um, an inbound QRF. Obviously, we have our own QRF force heading up from the south. Now, ideally, we want this force to arrive intact. For obvious reasons, they always be here. The major threat, obviously, is the destroyers on the inlet. Now, we are not tasked with destroying them unless there is something at the opening of the harbour that our ship-based cruise missiles cannot penetrate. Now, the ships, all being well, fair seas and winds, etc., should be in range within about an hour. Okay, Once they're cleared and they believe that they've got a clear shot, they will engage. At that point, we will hopefully have a successful resolution to this, we know that they've got some storage buildings on the rail lines on the way in, prepping for more supplies to come in. And we think they've got some checkpoints out there, but obviously 
somebody's going to have to look at the roads in and out of the town to find these. Now, at the moment, until the air threat is reduced to zero, the hard deck for this is 10,000. Everybody happy with that? Wait a second, hard, tech is, hard deck is minimum altitude. Correct. What if you have an AKA-50? Then you stand off at a distance and help us identify targets. Okay. Better be better yet is uh, heal ops. Uh, be advised, there is a lot of SAM cover in there. Make sure you mask a lot. Obviously, those in the KA-50s have got some good optics on that bird. So you can ho hopefully spot any columns coming in. We don't know if there's anti-air in the columns. This is a rogue faction that have managed to get some money and they are trying to take over. Um, we do have civilians in the area, so be aware. We want to keep the casualties to a minimum, please. Any questions so far? Uh, yes, do we need the runways in Sinaki and Kobaleti? Or are they disposable? We will... D runways will stay intact for economics for the town. There are enough targets um, for everybody. Now, recent intel that we've just received is that they are st setting up command structure on the beach just north of the inlet. Now, we believe there is at least two command bunkers and possibly a weapons arsenal in a weapons bunker and fuel reserves there. Now, obviously, these are targets that are going to be hardened. So if you're going after these, you need penetration weapons as a minimum. Don't waste anything else. Now, if you're in an A-10, you're talking about taking a Mark 84 minimum. Gentlemen, this mission is designed for precision and non-collateral damage. There are civilians in the area. We have to take them out with scalpel. This is surgical strikes when you see enemy. That also means not letting loose a whole plane full load of bombs and, and doing the shotgun effect. Command of the mission has decided that it would be preferable for all pilots. If you're an F-18, at the moment, obviously, we have minimal laser capabilities due to various reasons, to pair up with a Harrier or two. Also be advised, we have Harriers and A-10Cs that can laser. Just as a note for laser gentlemen, I would recommend we go for the laser codes, basically our radio frequency, then our number in the flight. So Wildcats, if I'm in charge, would be under 130 as frequency, then 1301 would be lead, 1302 would be number 2, etc, etc. The good news for this mission is we do have AWACS and ground control. We do not have a JTAC other than platforms that will be airborne. Alright gentlemen, any other questions? Negative. All right, uh, everybody. Traffic's going to be two five one, and magic is two six four. Remember, call out your traffic's on two five one. Go ahead and give me the frequencies when you are ready in your flight, and let's get in game. One two eight, Gruntmeister, radio check. Gruntmeister, one two eight, five by five. Radio checking. Radio check, one, two, one, five, five, five. Painter Grump, can you go over the uh, loadout again? Painter Gruntmeister, F-15 loadout is going to be six times AIM 120s, two times AIM 9s, and three times fuel tank. Uh, Dot, a sword flight, flight of three F-18Cs, taxiing runway 33. Three. Zucumi traffic, Zucumi traffic, Bailey air taxiing to taxiway Charlie. Moody, Gruntmeister. Gruntmeister, Moody. Yeah, Moody, whenever your aircraft is set up and your INS is aligned, uh, you can go ahead and come up to us and we'll all try a, uh, a takeoff as a flight. Yep, and I am ready, so I'm texting to you right now. Longbow, magic. Roger that, starting up. All 
All right, so from here on out, I will uh, refer to us as Daggerflight. Uh, Moody, if you want to go ahead and be uh, with us on that, we can add you as Dagger 3. Midorta, sword flight is airborne, runway clear. Ready, copy, yes, I would like to be at to Dagger 3. Gruntmeister copies. All right, so Gruntmeister will be uh, Dagger 1. Painter will be Dagger 2, Moody, Dagger 3. Moody, go for Grumpmeister. Um, do you see the message? We have uh, QRF uh, actually in the air. So we need to... Back for to Magic. You still want me to head towards Katasi. Yeah, I copy that. Uh, since you're ready to go, go ahead. We're gonna... You're, you'll have to fly solo again, trying to get uh, Dagger 2 into the air. So go ahead and take off, uh, and then we'll join back up, and we will request tasking from there. Copy that, go ahead and uh, start engines back up, let me know when you're fully set up, ensure flaps are at full. Get out of traffic, dagger flight, two times F-15 Charlies, taxiing to runway 33. Alright, two, let's see if we can do a uh, synchronous takeoff here. Uh, go ahead and join up on my left side and we'll do, uh, we'll take off at the same time. Roger. Get out of traffic. Uh, dagger flight taking off runway 33. Alright, on the count of three, we will release brakes. Go ahead and set your brakes and throttle up to 85%. So, magic. Go, magic. Alright, one. Two, three, release, full afterburner. Rotate. Dagger 2 lead, are you alright? No. Fucking hate this. Uh, lead copy is Dagger 2. Go ahead, whenever you get the chance, get onto a tarmac, repair if you need to, and get in the air. Break. Do you have your flaps full when you took off? Lead A firm, head flaps down. Okay, I'm ready to copy. I'm actually um, 49 miles to waypoint uh, 1, which is my uh, bullseye. I'm waiting for 264 instruction uh, with uh, two MiG 21s. Meister acknowledges, um, what is your Angels? I'm actually, uh, Angels 25, airspeed is 380, bearing 130. Lead copies, uh, currently going to, uh, break. Lead is going to orbit Gudata until, uh, Dagger 2 can get in the air, and then we will join up. Um, copy, do you need to um, be between me and Magic, or do I need to contact Magic to ask for tasking? Uh, yeah, copy, go ahead and uh, talk to Magic and see if you can acquire a tasking. Uh, we're quite a bit away from you. Okay, Magic copies. M2000 flight, Magic. Yeah, 
Voilà, sorry Magic, it's um, uh, muddy on uh, Mirage, I'm on Dagger Lead, uh, Dagger Flight, sorry, now, so you can contact me on uh, Dagger. Uh, Roger, uh, Moody, so uh, I need you to head east, due east, we've got reports of other inbound aircraft. All fighters be aware, we've got reports of inbound fighters from the mountains to the east. Moody Company is heading east, uh, searching for targets. Roger that, all flight cap flights, be aware we have unknown threats inbound from the east. Dagger 3, lead, uh, understands and acknowledges your tasking, break. Dagger 2, lead, still at Angels 10, about to head vector 330, uh, waiting for you to join up on this altitude. I'll drop a flare once you're at this altitude. I'm showing multiple small feet wet. Vehicles. Can you investigate the sound of three? Have an opinion. I'm actually heading east. 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 Advise you have hostile inbound 093 for 25, Angels 33, MiG 21. Ready copies, I have contact, free contact on my radar, uh, bearing 090, uh, 20 miles from me. Request permission, engaging. Weapons free. All fighter flights. Please observe towards Kobaletti and the mountains with reports of multiple aircraft inbound. Dagger 2, lead. What is plus one? Group has four, A124, A9, X. Roger, Destiny Group. Uh, Bra 090450. We have one friendly engaged with hostiles. Splash 2, engaging the last one. Roger. Destiny, Roger, uh, 09050 miles. I'm down. Roger, Blood Dark, mind you, you have a fighter inbound. 127 for 6. That's my rifle. Missile inbound, Blood Blood Dark Missile Mist. Dagger lead from Dagger 3. Slater. Blood Dark Splash 1. Blood Dark, well done, thank you. All flights be advised at this time. We are picture clear, air threats. Picture clear, air threats, but please be advised. Continue scanning. Dagger lead to Dagger 3. Dagger 3, go ahead for Dagger lead. Yes, I was shut down. There is one MiG-21 left on the east of the AO. Uh, copy that, Dagger 3. Uh, Magic just declared. Area is clean at this time. We are en route to goals at this time. Dagger 3 copies. I'm uh, preparing for takeoff and rejoining you. Dagger lead copies. Magic, dagger flight, two times F-15 C's, 318-435, checking in. Request asking. Roger, uh, proceed to potty and establish a clockwise cap approximately five miles out of potty, above Angels 10. Dagger lead from Dagger 3, I am taking off from Godota. Marker placed. Dagger 3, lead. Uh, last known coordinates. Mike test. Dagger 2, I hear you. Dagger 2, checking in. 
All right, Dagger 2, now that you can hear me, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, if you haven't heard it through the SRS, Magic has tasked us to uh, hold above the hard deck of Angels 10. We're going to do a five mile out uh, break. We're going to do a five mile out uh, clockwise, counterclockwise orbit of bulls. How copy? Our clockwise orbit, Rondeo. Yeah, copy. Uh, we're going to establish at Angels 15, so let's go ahead and do a slow flight up to Angels 15. Break, break. All flights be advised. Our QRF force is now inbound to Potty. We've also had a second sighting, we believe that our resistance has been able to mark both columns with smoke on the roads heading into Potty. Magic Dagger Flight 2 times F-15 Charlie over Potty established at flight level 155, ready for tasking. Roger, bra 056 for 20, four flight unknown. Dagger flight copies. Heading to that direction at this time. Roger. Right, go ahead and follow me in. We've got a four ship of unknown bandits uh, going to intercept. Magic Blackhawk flight. Roger. Dagger Roger. three. Roger. Dagger and lead. Have contact. Can you accompany Goblin? They are in my flight. Copy. Do you have a uh, aircraft type? I lost. I hate another magic. An aircraft horizontal uh, bar. Uh, halo on route to potty. We're going to engage drivers for opportunity within town. Magic dagger flight looking for bogey dope. Uh, dagger flight, you are heading 360, correct? A firm for dagger flight. Roger. Right turn 90 degrees. Now, uh, we've been advised that the flight is between yourselves and Sanaki Koki. Dodge the third one on final, runway 33. Between us and Sanaki Koki, copy. Magic Moody, be advised we believe we have hostile aircraft somewhere in the vicinity of Potty. Magic Moody copies and we're joining my Lego flight. Roger. Confirm. Weapon spray. Weapon free rider engaged. Take a flight. The air group, according to Intel, is following the river approximately southwest. Take a flight copy is southwest along the river. I got it from Woody, I've got visual on you, I'm joining you. Tiger Flight Magic Intel, we have information. Forty Tiger Flight MI24, the Angel 6, they are on your 7 o'clock now. They're about to enter over the forest area from the river. Tiger Flight copies, uh, searching now. Say Angels. Angel 6, class report. Copies. Tiger Magic, be away. You're flying over uh, a salt column inbound to Potty there. Come on. lead, missile defeated. I'll guide you on to the target. 
Magic Daggerfly has no joy on enemy bandits. Contact. Right, from your location, now 1017 miles, Angel. Visual on, smoke. Over 300 feet have descended. 12 o'clock high. Uh, report sir, is that they are slow and low. Copy slow and low, 300 feet on the deck. They're now 132, your location. Contact. Copy two, fire at will. Contact loss. Crewmeister, magic, at nine o'clock now, close. They're probably gonna go ahead and head north. Grumpmeister, magic, er, uh, magic Grumpmeister, nine o'clock close. Magic to clear, my nose, 9,000 on the deck. Wolf Shadow. Roger, where are you, Wolf Shadow? About to go feet dry, heading east. Oh, Roger. Hostile group appears to be coming over the open water now. You have one friend in between you. Blackhawk slides if you contact with enemy QRS, south of body. Cypher, flare, flare. I'm a three observation on convoy. Jesus Christ, I can't find these guys. Confirm with four helicopters, line of press. They, sir, they are roughly middle of the lake to the southeast of Potty. All enemy fighters, middle of the lake for fast. Lake is Bulls 115 for four. Contact. Buddy Spike, Buddy Spike, 18. Firing. Box three. Helicopters to break in formation. Magic, Roger. Magic, Wildcat, do we have any F-15s active? Roger. Paint has just fired. Dagger flight is F-15. Well, Blackhawk, uh, we're under fire. Engaging enemy QRF force. Roger, do you require assistance? Blackhawk Magic, do you require assistance? Plessy, you, you guys okay? You want to be calling a strike? Dagger Fox 3 on MI 24. Magic Destiny 3 on station at Bulls, Angels 10 request texting. I hit somebody on our side. What's your status? Uh, 8 times GB 12, 2 AMRAMs, and 2 M9X. We have just status of those uh, helicopters. Stand by, Mike Rushman. Dagger, Mike Painter. That was friendly. All right, so let's go ahead and pause that right there. So there was a little conflict about whether or not a blue on blue situation happened here. So we're going to do a review on the play. Basically, the situation was a Fox 3 was launched by Painter, which was Dagger 2 in this situation. Uh, it turned out that the Fox 3 did not impact anybody. As a matter of fact, he managed to score a kill on one of the Hinds. So, the ruling on the field has been reversed. There was no blue on blue incident that happened during this mission. Fox 3. Magic Dagger confirm uh, MI 24 splash. Roger, I have two MI 24s left. They are both feet wet. Dagger lead from Dagger 3. I'm taking off from Gatota. Destiny, Fox 2 and Splash, over water. Roger, there's still one MI-24, but he's left. He is feet wet, south of Potty. Uh, one hostile has been engaged. 
the rest has been taken care of. Right break, we have friendlies down that are still alive. We have a QRF force coming in from the road leading south from Potty. Any attack aircraft, please scan that road and assist friendlies. Uh, Halo, it's Winchester on ordnance. Uh, plenty of fuel. These friendly tags or, didn't come uh, up and he was pretty close. Or can or I don't know. For further anti shipping operations. Uh, yeah, copy. Did you, uh. Roger, good location. Uh, orbiting potty. Roger, can like you four the miles out the road at a square, and it was hostile with the fire star. The Basically, we have a black hole down. I don't know how close I have to be to confirm it. Uh, we'll go, we'll try but it did not pop up as friendly. He was in the mix of uh, MI and MI 21s. All friendlies, be advised, we have a black hole down. Then I got a I got a kill tag saying that I did yeah, take out an MI 21, but uh, we have. Black Hawk down situation, we have a QRF force inbound their location. The road is south of Potty. The main road leading south of Potty, it is at the end of the water, the inbound, the Shoreband Lake. They are south, just, just south of that lake. We have a Black Hawk down. Uh, Confirm, are they just south of the lake on the main road or are they just off of the main road? The friendly is just off the road, the QRF is on the road. The small the lake as it tapers to a small body of water, they are on the main road at the bottom of there. The friendly is off the road. Hey firm, uh, uh, Hello has uh, tally on uh, the crash site. Star 2 appears to see the uh, QRF still looking for the location of the Hilo. Hilo is showing as Angel's fourth feet wet, again just south of the lake in the water. We have no friendly QRF in the town of Potty at this time. Magic Destiny, uh, Tally, QRF. Moving north on the road prior to the uh, to the bend, straight north. Rolling in. Tiger okay. two, Lee, be advised, you are following a Harrier. That is not me. Dagger lead, dagger two, please repeat. Dagger two, lead, you are flying with a Harrier. Doing clockwise. Troll. Turning back up. Roger that. Decker lead is just to the north of Bulls at Angel 16. We'll drop a single flare to show you where I'm at. Destiny 3, go ahead, Roger. I advise on a northbound QRF force uh, just south of the lake, awaiting tasking for uh, 8 times GBUs. Roger, engage QRF force, which is now parallel with the east south of the lake. Sort two. Magic, Dagger, confirm there are no enemy flights in the air at this time. Confirm, no enemy Sort flights. Lost. We have one helo down. Uh, enemy helo down. He is southwest of the lake. Uh, he's showing us down. Speed zero, angels four. Copies. Dagger 2, Dagger lead, can you pop flares? Dagger 2, A firm, stand by. Oh. Flare dispense. Magic Dagger flight is back on bulls orbiting counterclockwise. We are Tiger and approximately 0 plus 45 minutes playtime. At this time, we have no enemy air present. Uh, will advise if change. Wizard Dagger copies. We will remain on station over Halo, Magic. Magic Halo, go ahead. Uh, I have eyes on crash site of downed uh, Black Hawk. I cannot see the pilot on 
in press. Roger, police pilot uh, deceased. Uh, yeah, continue to feed Bob Nervous there. QIF force coming in. There is a small island in the south of the lake. They are becoming parallel with that island. I will mark. A firm, uh, halo to all stations. Does anyone require uh, buddy lathing? It has visual 7 o'clock. Dagger 3, lead copies. Go ahead and join up if you want. Many copies joining you on your right wing. That would be your left wing uh, from Dagger 3. Dagger 3, lead copies, left wing. Dagger 2 will be on right wing. Okay, again. You on right wing? Dagger 2, lead, you will be on right wing, yes. Magic calling. Do we have any AV-8Bs currently airborne? Sword, magic. Dagger 2, bingo fuel. Are you capable for unassisted ground attack? Dagger, lead, copy is clear to RTB, you data. Dagger, lead, should I break off from you guys and you guys can continue? Dagger play will continue cap. You can proceed to Gudata at this time. RTV. Tommy traffic cipher. I know there's one sort two copies. Uh, just require buddy lacing from uh, cable platform. Dagger three lead. That is some awesome formation playing today. I love it. Tommy traffic walk at two entry. I'm not gonna make it to good Roger, Roger, if you can put it down, try and go ahead. If you not, can't, then uh, eject. And you always won't. Oh. Did you hear that? What the hell is that? Yeah, you firm. Friendly armor approaches. Sounds like, like a good splash. Like, sounds like something got hit. What was that? Hello, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just lost a civilian building to the south of the ammo dump. Ammo dump is down. Gone. Ammo dump is down. Congratulations. Dagger lead Dagger 3. Um, Can you hear my voice on an SRS? Also be advised, our QRF force has now liberated the remains of Potty. Potty is now safe. We have flushed the target. Flush the bottom. Uh, Magic Blackhawk. Dagger play. We Dagger three. Dagger. That we have. Uh, it sounds like mission accomplished. Blackhawk has a humanitarian aid packet. We will land in front of the Antipas overrun. Roger. Authorization granted. Off flight. Off flight. Knock it off. Knock it off. Proceed to Discord for debrief. Uh, disregard, we are now calling knock it off. We're gonna go back to Discord for debrief. So long as the server is up, we're gonna go ahead and RTB back to Qdata. Roger. Probably gonna hit the uh, the far left side. All right, we might we lose might the, the uh, server. Is starting to spike a lot. Uh, oh, just wait two minutes. Almost down. Yeah, there's about five egg buffets. So just trying to land for the moment. I, I'll, I'll give it a moment. I don't know if the server will. Please. All right, looks like runway is clear. Uh, dagger flight, short final runway two three. Sort two in the back. Uh, 
15 and Mirage are going to try to land together. together. It'll be It'll interesting. Be interesting. <laughs> uh, Who's got the higher landing speed? Sword one turning final uh, runway three three. Out there uh, imitating uh, me now. now. Yep. Keep that nose up. I could have used the parachute, but no needs. Mm -hmm. All right, Cal. Oh. It's your deeper. Cal. Kai. Kai. <laughs> okay. FFS. These days. FFS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like he does that on purpose now. Yeah. I think he does. Is. <laughs> okay, Cal. Go ahead. Foxtrot Oscar. Um, right. <laughs> I gotta get a straight face in a minute. Um, on the whole, okay. I thought. It... Okay, Aquila Alpha Ida. There's gotta be one, aren't there? There always one. Yeah, I think on the whole, it was good. Um, people were cooperating. Uh, we only lost a couple of buildings, which was obviously inevitable with the stuff the ship started spamming in. Um, I believe somebody got hit by a cruise missile. That sounds like talent. Well, Were they trying to or something? Because I can't imagine any other way of getting hit by a cruise missile. I think somebody flew into the path of it. What altitude do they fly at? Uh, 275 feet. Yeah, that would take some doing, given their hard deck was 10 grand. Yeah, um, but no, I, it looked good. Um, the smoke went up, the explosion, we'd already got the, Q the other QR forces before they'd got there. Um, Barack Obama um, highlighted the, he flew over the top of them without noticing they were there until they hit him. Um, uh, but yeah, I think we, we found targets, the air targets came in, um, they split, did a little bit unexpected, but that's the AI for you, um, but I think Moody took the majority of those out. On the whole, I think we completed the mission, the QRF force got in, in one piece. The majority of the mission parameters we hit smack on. Uh, a better way to help get people onto targets in that is give the Garrett grid reference, then take that grid box and break it down into a uh, keypad. So. So, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, so it is a little bit tricky to talk people into rooftops, but that was part of the purpose of it, is to try and get people looking in different places. I would like to say I did like the way we were talked in, because um, it's all well and good if you are really shit hot and know the map inside out, but being guided in from a visual reference point makes it a lot easier when you're actually in the air looking down with a teapot or something. I found too. There's to actually find the target if I was talked in on it, it was a lot easier than necessarily having a grid reference, which I'd then have to try and work out how to cross ref on the map. Unless Goblin steals your target first. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> a nice a nice thing about the uh, most of the T-Pods, or the two current T-Pods out there for the US, the US side, it will give you the grid reference if you laser it for a split second. They'll actually give you Latin long of where that location is. See, for my part, I kind of needed to be talked on. I was looking out of my cockpit trying to find an inlet, and um, getting talked on worked better for me because I wasn't completely sure where the target area was, and I was going after one of those bunkers. Yeah, unfortunately, the inlet, if you look at a body picture, it actually looked like the anus inlet of a body uh, anatomy diagram that's why I thought I'd call it flushing potty <laughs> aha I get it <laughs> but yeah feedback from me uh, yeah I thought it was quite a good mission uh, the Harriers did struggle a little bit uh, at the moment there's a bug where track point only functions when you've got a hot start Harrier which meant uh, getting the lasers to lock up anything on a roof because they just want to like uh, lock a ground location 
so you can't really acquire targets on the roof with a teapot at the moment in the Harry unless you've got a hot start one but um, once we switched to Mavericks it became a bit easier because the Mavericks could acquire those targets and fire yeah the uh, teapot ground locks doesn't it, ground stabilises rather than the rooftop you've got to keep walking it in usually uh I can get the point to work if you had it right at their feet. Yeah, when they're when they're on the ground, it's it's fine because you just aim for the ground right underneath them. But when the when the units uh, on top of a building, that uh, that ground location isn't quite as uh, true. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I know just the same thing. When I was attacking the ships, uh, I'd have to constantly adjust slightly. Uh, to walk the laser on because obviously I'm aiming at like the bridge of the ship or something or the funnel to try and get the bomb to go straight down into the engine and then blow up um, and you have to do the same thing it's just constant constant job I did actually like the Black Hawk down situation spider well done yes, yeah that was I very did, good I did enjoy that because I've got to admit I was completely Winchester and still flying around for about 10 minutes trying to find this poor guy on the wreckage and then I found it, and I'm just scanning wildly, switching to infrared to try and get any thermal signature of the pilot whatsoever, and he's like, no. Actually, that brought back a lot of bad memories. Oh. No, you're okay, you're okay. It's just, it, it, that was a very stressful day. So, you guys are okay, don't, don't worry. Yeah, I just don't know how to follow on to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I was uh, watching the response from everybody. Everybody immediately started scanning that area and engaged the targets. So it, it people did actually just switch on and then move. To let you guys know, for 15 pilots and everybody around here, uh, Fox threes when they go when when the missile gets 10 miles from the uh, 10 seconds from intercept. When the computer in the missile detects 10 seconds before impact or intercept, it switches on its own radar. It drops its own data link to your fighter. That's why we call it going mad dog or going active. Pitbull. Pitbull is the other way. Mad dog is when you launch a missile where it goes active as soon as it comes off the rail. That's less than 10 seconds. That's true. It, um, the if, missile is programmed to go to the highest radar return it has in its seeker view. That means it has no IFF. So if there's a friendly within closer range than the target, it will guide on that. Uh, yep. well, what happened was I watched you from above. You flew over the hinds. And then immediately behind the hinds was a friendly. And what yeah. happened, I think your, your radar just transferred to the friendly. And you, you let go because you thought, right, I'm on, I'm on a lock. Which you, you were line of sight, but it was about a second after you'd gone over the hind. You oh, released. Wow. My bad. I'm sorry. Then, uh, also, it, when a AMRAM goes, gets dumb fired, it automatically activates its radar and seeks the closest target. That's Mad Dog. That's Mad Dog. Or just when you're in, just in case it's, you know, a lot of traffic, stay with it or do guns. Or stick with a. Or. Just keep a lock on. If, if you guys notice how I load my F 15 when we go on sorties, I have actually two sparrows on my back station. They're AM 7s or AM 9s? Yeah, that's. Yeah. Sparrows are AM 7s, those are semi active. That's pretty yeah. genius, actually. So, if you're in a dogfight and you can't get a sidewinder on the guy, fire a sparrow at him because if you, after you launch, you find out, hey, that's a friendly. You can break the lock and the missile goes inactive or it'll self destruct if uh, the lock's broken. Okay. I think the range you were in on the Hines, we probably should have been looking at heaters on the hinds at, at the yeah. range and the height they were at. Uh, engagement with helos, you always want to use uh, heat seekers, magics, R-73s, sidewinders, because they have that big tailpipe coming out of their back anyway. 
I know at least for me the only reason I was using AMRAMs is because uh, I couldn't visually find these things, like they were impossible to find, and uh, <clears throat> radar might have been able to pick it up better, and when I got that lock, I was like, okay, I see it. Well, I suppose yeah. if you lock it, if you lock the target, you can always fly in close and then switch over to your heaters when you're in really close and just follow the lock all the way. The thing is, yeah. technically, you can still use your radar with the heater selected. On the whole, was everybody happy with it? I, I, I meant to say to Cypher, I've this is the first mission I made for the group. Um, and it, everything okay? I liked it except for the fl uh, flyback all the way to the target as a helo. <laughs> yeah, the helo flight was a bit uh, stretched out. It was very stretched out. <laughs> but, but other than that, it was a really cool mission. I really liked it. Yep, I... I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I got hit by a, a Sam when I was going after those MiG 21s early on. Um, I don't know if I dropped below hard deck or what, but uh, I never had any warning on the RWR that anything was coming at me. I just, one second I was flying along, and the next second I was dead. Because unfortunately, you flew over, over an Avenger. Right over an Avenger. Yeah, I think that was the unfortunate thing. I may have. Uh led my flight under the hard deck and I think that's how we lost Moody in one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... No, no, it, it, not your fault. It was a bit confusing because as the moment the uh, same launch, launch I was um, body spiking by, by the F-18 and I was a bit stressed so when I just called the body, body, um, body spike uh, I climbed and then I didn't see the uh, same launch. I thought that was you that was calling out to me that Sam launch, Sam launch, and I was like, well, I got the yeah, I, RWR actually told me that there was a Sam launch, and that's why I was like, that's why I just emergency climbed. I saw it too late. When I when I was calling you, I was almost dead. <laughs> Shit. Man, that was absolutely just frustrating trying to be an F-15, trying to shoot down helicopters while maintaining a hard deck. That was pretty nice. Yeah, I was right there with you in an F-18. It was not the easiest thing to. Yeah, I'm sitting here like. Well, you got people like Wolf Shadow and Sherman. It sounds like they're actually kind of struggling, so I don't feel too bad about acting like a like we're feeling like a scrub up here right now. What That's happened was not not enough people engaged the air threats before the ground threats got there, so that limited you to your hard deck. But that was a lot of it was designed to see how people work under that situation and what people know. Well, it was different enough to be yeah. interesting then. Yeah, yeah. So, um, definitely. Absolutely. All you like. That was no. quite difficult for the first time because when I first arrived in the AO, I was the only one who provided cap and I engaged the three MiG 21s. I shot uh, two downs, but the last one just, get, just got me. Pablo, when we attacked the QRF force and stuff, I just saw you like, I was like, missile! And I just see you explode like right in the middle and I'm like, damn! I'm, I'm, all, I'm in this alone! Yeah, I've got, I just got killed with Elion. It was great to have the surprise that three MiG-21s coming uh, high and fast from, from the east. But uh, yeah, as I was alone against the free, it was a bit complicated uh, because my dagger flight was a bit late due to technical problems. We can all vote here that um, this designer gets one of them today. What's his name? Well, I mean, I think I mean, if we want, um, so... I believe his name was Cal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to what? be polite because I'm uh, I'm having a how can I say a, a brain fart right now with my favorite partner I have right now. Uh, brain diarrhea. You can say that again. You guys have a nice evening or nice afternoon or evening. Thank you. Thank you, Spider. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Spider. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.